Vroom, vroom. Come on! Yeah! It's great review time! That go... Ooh, what you got? Oh, uh, I guess I'm uh, driving in style when I leave here. Yeah! Check it out! Here at Victory in the Valley, triple threat action with a number one contender shot at the VCW heavyweight title on the line. Pastor CeeLo in one corner, Colton Quinn in another, and then Jace Carr here, front and center. Revving things up, hopefully he won't run out of the building like last time. Oh! Double super kick there by Colton and Pastor CeeLo, taking Jace Carr all the way out, out onto the floor. I think, uh Race car, Jace car, just ran to, to a roadblock. And here we go. Pastor Silo, Colton Quinn gonna get it done. Colton Quinn coming into this matchup with great momentum, the possible number one contendership at stake. He already has a pinfall victory over the champion, Pretty Patrick Hayes. I would argue, Jim, that was one of the most shocking moments we've seen in the Victory Championship wrestling. There have been some shocking moments in VCW that has to be up to the top of the list. Colton Quinn could be uh, reaching a career peak in his young tenure in the wrestling business, trying to build on that momentum and make the most of it. You gotta give credit for that. CeeLo, side headlock now on Quinn. CeeLo, I think one of the other fastest rising competitors in Victory Championship Wrestling. You know, Eamon, I'm not a religious man, but Pastor CeeLo even makes me believe in the Holy Spirit. Well, we need that in this world. <laughs> I hear you, brother. Colton there. Quinn back up to a vertical base, trying to extricate himself here with the top wrist lock. Quinn, so great technically in that ring for such a young age and such a young time in professional wrestling. Yeah, just in his, his early 20s. I really believe that he, as much potential as we've seen Colton Quinn, his best years are certainly still ahead of him. As Seelo able to get the shoulder up, Quinn. Back in Zilo with the leg sweep. A stalemate between these two. Did a race car, race car get pulled over outside the <laughs> ring? What the hell happened? Got caught for speeding, maybe. But now, Zilo oh, dropped toe hole. Nicely done. Come through. Drop kick. The explosiveness that Zilo gets in that drop kick is always so impressive. Absolutely. Very, very dynamic. Able to generate a lot of momentum in such a short space to maximize the impact. Quinn now rolling back into the ring, not taking a breather, getting back into the action. CeeLo now, oh, plants Quinn right in the center of the ring. Gonna crawl right into a cup. Wait, there's Jace Carr! Very opportunistic. He swerved right in there to exploit the advantage. And now wiping Colton Quinn out onto the floor so he can work down even further on Pastor CeeLo. I mean, last time we saw Jace Carr in a VCW ring, he was uh, zooming out of here, willing to take a count out victory over the Beast Man. But Carr, I can't imagine doing it this time around. I mean, the Beast Man is fearsome, but the VCW Heavyweight Championship is the richest prize in this company, and a title shot would mean so much to any competitor. Yeah, Jace Carr would really put his career on the map if he puts himself in the championship conversation. Nice one, floats over. Again, only two. This is the most focused I would say I've seen Jace Carr in a good bit. Really putting that spark, lighting a fire under Jace Carr. And now Carr, oh, but Colton Quinn now back in the ring. That's what you gotta realize in these triple threat matchups. You may have someone disposed for a period of time, but you gotta keep your eyes in the back of your head. Whipping Colton off, big drop kick. Quinn, such an explosive competitor, but seems to have taken quite a beating. Goes charging, oh, and gets a face full of turnbuckle for his trouble. And look at how aggressive, look at the look on the face of race car, Jace Carr. Carr again in the center of the ring, controlling the track of things, as you can say. Yeah, everything go according to plan, step for step, taking the roadmap to victory here. 
Quinn breaks free. Clothesline goes right over Jace Carr, but not able to take him down. Smart move of Colton. The way, you know, I've never seen someone follow through with that clothesline like that, but trying to get any bit of damage you can on Carr. And charge, now he's able to take Carr down. Big back elbow. Insecurity right wow. to the back of the head. Wrapped the leg upside the head of Carr, and uh, this could be Colton Quinn's golden opportunity, but in comes Silo. Yeah. Oh. Nice running one-legged drop kick. Wipes Colton Quinn out. Silo was like a missile right there. Carr now back in. Oh, drills him head first into the mat. But now, not sure if he's gonna go for a cover. I think he sees Colton Quinn coming. Big flatliner. He planted Jace Carr. He and that him. is it. Number one contender, and we, Quinn. And we already know Colton Quinn can beat Patrick Hayes. He's done it before. Question is, can he do it again? Colton Quinn, your winner, and Patrick Hayes better be ready.